Today we are making a video on Eric KDE Linux. This is a boot menu. Pretty common. Let's launch the live mode. It takes a few seconds to boot up. Looks like everything is working properly. The ISO file is not corrupted. It takes around like 30 to 40 seconds to boot up. Maximum. As you can see everything is running fine. Soon we will be seeing a welcome screen or a login screen. As you can see, a mouse pointer working very smooth. Here is our login screen, which is live mode and I am running in a VMware with 40 GB hard disk and 4 GB RAM with two processors. The password for the guest live mode is double A R I C K D E. Eric KDE all in small type all in small letters and hit enter we can see a KDE plasma mouse pointer here the mouse pointer is changed here is a KDE plasma logo the desktop environment for Eric KDE is KDE plasma which is in the name Eric KDE. Here is our desktop. Let's change our display resolution. Configure display settings. You can go into by clicking applications menu or application launcher. Then go to settings and display settings. Mine is 1920 into 1080p. There are some updates. 16 is to 9 ratio and click apply keep the changes if you don't see a text properly you can go scale the uh, percentage nearly to 300 percentage until you satisfy and the texts are visible properly for you I am good with 100 percent let's check about the system it is, it is based on Arch Linux and here is a website for Eric KDE the KDE Plasma version is 5.25.3 a framework version is 5.96.0 and a QT version is 5.15.5 .5. and the kernel version is 5.18.14 and graphics platform x11 here you can see I am running on a VMware with 4GB RAM and this is my processor. Let's close this thing and let's run a system monitor. We need to run a system monitor before launching any apps because we need to see how much uh, resources are consumed by the Linux distro. one point two GB of four GB RAM and the CPU is running around below twenty percent here are the processors let's click on applications these are all the applications running let's check the history here is the CPU and here is the RAM swap memory is zero and here is the internet Let's check the version of the system monitor 5.25.3 Let's check the processors Here are the processors Let's close this thing and open the terminal Console is the terminal of KDE Plasma Let's check the version of console Our version is 22.04.3 
let's type in i n x i command not found let's type in u name dash a kernel is 5.18.14 let's type in cat etc issue eric kde and let's type in head stop command not found let's exit the thing and let's open the internet browser i'll show you how to download and where to download let's go to their website firefox launched pretty fast that is a good thing let's check the version of the firefox uh, firefox version is 1.0 103 let's type in eric kde linux or eric kde this is their official website or you can just type in the url which you can see here this is a pretty big url instead of that just type in eric kde in google or your favorite search engine in your favorite browser this is the website and this is the name of the eric kde latest version which is vermer code name you can choose your edition comes in linux vanilla kernel zen kernel if you want to read everything you can read that to download just scroll down and here is the username and here is the password this is the password which i showed or typed already while logging just click on the download eric kde vanilla which will take you to the google drive the file size is uh, around like 2 gb i guess let's check that click on download the file size is 2 gb and the version is 2022 7.28 download anyway here is our download which is 2 gb in file size for me it takes 5 minutes and for you it will depend on your internet connection let's close this thing let's try to see all the desktop features it is KDE desktop so everything is KDE you already know how KDE desktop is and the appearance of KDE plasma these are all the same things here we, we can see a update let's try let's change the wallpaper let's see what are the wallpapers we get with the eric kde version about will be 3.0 folder view a same regular kde plasma wallpapers just a, a single wallpaper is different here the safe landing is different everything which comes with kde plasma is here let's close this thing here are the updates I think uh, around 1.5 GB of updates we have here. Let's fastly scroll through. If you want to see it in slow, you can go into YouTube settings and change the speed to 0.25 or 0.25 to properly see everything because I don't want to make a video so lengthy. These are all the updates about 5.25.3 settings installed home all these things you already know and which will be in kde plasma regular we have a dolphin file manager our version will be 22.04.3 everything is same let's see what all apps comes pre-installed these are all the apps which comes pre-installed everything is KDE Plasma pre-installed so I think this one is the different 
let's type in the password which will be eric kde i'll show you the password instead of eric it came double s double a this is the password click on ok here is some maintenance script if you want you can type in your choice like one two three four five if you want exist just click on x close it curl fish cmake discover documents these are all the apps comes in the kd plasma already so nothing is different let's try to install the password again double a r i c k d e to install click on ok let's wait now here is a installer let's check the calamaris installer version 3.2.56-1 for eric kde I'm just going to show you the formality of installation which will be common in every Linux distro. First you need to choose the language. I'm going with American English. You will see I think you will have here like every language almost they covered every language here. Click on next after choosing your language. Choose your location. You can choose anything you want Australia, New Zealand. America Canada I'll go with Los Angeles America click on next choose your keyboard mine is Dell but it always shows generic 105 key PC and you can choose your language of keyboard I'm choosing English US which is default you can choose Russian Hawaiian anything you want French click on next you need to understand how to use the partitions like here if you want to erase complete disk you need to go with erase disk or you want to dual boot or do something you can do with manual partitioning you need to be careful while doing doing these things so i'm just going to choose erase disk and bootloader location which it is automatic here or you can choose or do not install you can choose anything you want click on next you need a required strong password you can choose this required strong password login automatically you can click on it use the same password for the administration account you can choose the same or you can type in different I'll choose same type in your username I'll go with runboxing if you want to remove this extra thing you can remove that and type in your password I'll go with just 12345 simple one you should not keep the simple password and it needs uh, 6 characters here it says the password fail in the dictionary check it is too simplistic because it is too simple because one two three four five six is a easily guessed password don't keep that simple password use uh, like symbols characters everything you want caps lock capital letters and small letters use every symbol or all these things to keep your a PC with a strong password and next will be a summary of what you want or what you choose while installing or to install this just click on install it will ask for a finish and reboot that's it it is the installation process I'm not going to do that because I want to run it on a live mode I'll cancel it I think I showed everything because KDE Plasma you know everything about KDE Plasma almost every person know that because it is a famous KDE Plasma desktop environment let's check the system monitor 
and see how much resources are consumed almost 1.6 GB first it was like 1.2 GB now 400 MB ex extra it is using here are the processors let's see any processors these are all the processors CPU is running around 25% it is touching 25% occasionally not continuously the CPU is almost the same let's open the internet browser I'll show you my channel if you didn't subscribe you just need to type in youtube.com slash 9 to file Linux if you don't want to subscribe and you want to visit without subscribe just type in this if you already subscribed you don't need to watch this you can skip that but if you don't want to subscribe and you want to come daily as a regular uh, viewer you can just type in youtube.com slash 9 to file Linux and if you want to watch only Linux video go to my playlist and choose Linux and go to view full playlist down under the Linux I made around like 1516 videos on only Linux distros I cover like every Linux distro almost like 70 to 80 percent of Linux distros if you want to play all you can play all shuffle do anything you want or you can either search here your favorite Linux distro let's go with Zorin you'll find Zorin just type in your uh, favorite Linux distro and you will see the videos here because I am almost covered everything and I will post two videos daily so I mentioned here these are my timings and if you want to subscribe you can subscribe or just type in youtube.com slash 9 linux you can uh, type in that no problem if you don't subscribe to I'm happy these are all updates I already showed that I think I pretty much covered everything let's go to discover there is no apps pre-installed so everything is KDE Plasma so I'm going to end this video because it is almost everything is same it is waste to show everything again let's close this thing not responding let's shut down this thing let's once again see anything we missed let's run few apps and check their version ocular version is 22.04.3 let's close this thing multimedia pulse volume audio controller you already know that firefox i showed that let's check the document scanner I think that's it for the video thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps me make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out